There's no way we're gonna go back, at least no time soon, to any level of discomfort or non-functioning, not just clothes, but things in our lives when we've lived like a year and a half in our jammies. I mean, <laughs> you're just not going back. And we shouldn't go back. And that's the design challenge for fashion. A lot of times like people mistake realistic for boring and it's anything but because the, the core of American fashion was steeped in practicality. Tonight, you're gonna see a lot of the fall, winter 2021 collection, just rebranding. That's been exciting. And then figuring out how to pivot and what to make when you don't know what the world's gonna look like by the time the clothes are made has been very challenging. Just trying to reconcile the dream with some everyday comfort. That's kind of where I was seeing this collection moving anyway, like just a little more easy to wear. There's still that shape there, so you still feel like you pull together, but you don't feel trust in. Me and designer Byron Lars are actually partners, so when we saw the show and they asked both of us to be in it, we collaborated and put the pieces together with the clothes. We've been working together a long time and been together a long time, so it's kind of like two of the same coin almost. It's easy to pair things to his designs because one, they're beautiful, but two, it's a story behind his designs. The same love I have for doing the jury and making people feel good is the same love he has in the fit of his clothes. The Barbie experience was life-changing in that really experiencing how much she means to so many. So once they called me to design a piece for her, I was like, of course, thrilled. I'm like, Barbie? I mean, I thought all the way back to my childhood friend, I'm like, she's gonna freak out. I'm doing a Barbie. But I had no idea no idea how big that would be and until women started coming up to me in the street that happened to be the complexion of this barbie happened to have the hair texture of that barbie some actually close to tears just because they had never seen themselves reflected that way through this medium honestly i thought it was gonna be one and done and i was good with that but the sales were pretty stellar and then by the fourth thaw once you have the sales then you have the freedom you know what I mean? It was like a free-for-all and we were having a blast. And that's when I think you really see the doll take a turn. I could finally do the kinky hair that I wanted to do in the beginning. I have to give it to them though for coming along for that ride and supporting it, supporting it when they saw that it was relevant. So I'm, I'll, I'll always be appreciative to my doll for that. I love Michelle Obama like so many others. And it was just really, awesome to see her respond to the clothes that way and she wore so many things like several times which just ratified the relevance and the comfort of something like that that somebody like her who can wear anything would wear like a dress of ours like three or four times i'm like okay then i feel like we're on the right track we're doing something right i like just celebrate all women women that wear my clothes a lot of times like who's your favorite celebrity that you dress honestly they don't really resonate more than my regular customer because it's all about like me just trying to give them a great experience. I think fashion is the kind of business that picks you. You don't pick it. I think there are the ones that pick fashion don't stick with fashion because you can't. It's too brutal. It's too grueling. But it's also really awesome. Fashion is tough, yes, but you just gotta be tougher. My advice to young people is to try and get a job in fashion before like opening a brand because you'll learn so much. Just walk before you run. That's my only advice. You know, that's just this roller coaster ride we're on called life and uh, I'm ready for the ride. More of it anyway. <laughs>